Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm RC and an SC, and if you want to learn how to put a crossfire receiver in your RC car, truck, or boat, stick around, this is the video for you. Thanks for hanging around guys, let's go ahead and cover some basics first. What parts are we going to need to get this working? Obviously, you're going to need a receiver, this is a crossfire nano receiver, it does come with this immortal T antenna. You're gonna need a module to put in your radio. This is the TX Lite. This is the TX Micro, it's a little bit cheaper. And there are some other modules that you can buy for some different type radios. I'm using a QX7, which takes a full size module like this. If you're not familiar with how this works, you simply take your module and you plug it into the back of your radio. Just like that, snaps in, allows the radio to use this module to talk to the receiver. Most importantly, guys, what you're gonna to need to make this work is this little part right here. This is a breakout board. What, it, <clears throat> what you do is you simply put the radio or the receiver on top, you'll solder it in, and that allows you to have these pins to plug your servo or ESC into. We're gonna cover that a little bit better in detail in just a second. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about this little adapter board and how it works. First, if you notice, guys, on this standard, this is a little Fataba receiver. If you notice, we already have pins made into it right here, so we can take our servo and plug it straight into it. No soldering or anything like that. Now we can't do that with a with this little nano receiver. There's no pins on it. So what we need is this little adapter board and all that how this works is you simply take your receiver and you set it right over top of those little pins and it'll fit right on there nice and snug, just like that. It almost snaps in and you're gonna come along and you're gonna solder these little pins right here just to make sure it stays on good and makes a good connection. What that's gonna do is allow you to take your servo and plug it right in here and I'm going to show you this I don't know if it's going to come out good <clears throat> these are marked on here whether you can read it or not these three pins right here on top these are channel one these three pins are channel two if you turn it over you have channel three and then channel four so you will have four PWM outputs on this using this adapter board the two inside pins right here are ground this brown wire is ground you will simply plug it in just oh come on just like that so your ground will be on the inside for channel two the ground will still be on the inside so you have to flip this over and it will be like that same thing on the back side your ground are the two inside pins so your ground wire will be to the inside and ground wire will be to the inside that will give you four channels there is a six channel adapter board available but I will link this board this four channel board down in the description below okay now that we've already talked about the adapter and how that works let's go ahead and talk about the radio setup as you can see guys I've already set up a model called crossfire 12 428 I would recommend that you make a dedicated model just for the vehicle that you're putting this in what you want to do is go ahead and page over one time until you get to the setup page what you're going to do is you want to scroll until you see internal RF right there more than likely it'll be defaulted to D16 what we're going to do is we're going to turn the internal module off by clicking it once scroll over until it says off click come down to the external RF it's going to be defaulted to off we're going to click it once and then scroll over until you see crossfire click that that's good to go you can leave it at channel 1 through 16 that won't hurt anything and escape out of that and then we're going to go to the mixer page Whoop, went one too far all right and what you're going to want guys it, well, it depends on what how you want to drive this personally i'm going to drive this with this stick alone this will be my forward this will be my reverse left and right so what we're going to use is the elevator stick for forward and reverse and we're going to use aileron for left and right as you can see i've already got that set up if yours is not set up like that you will simply click and hold hit edit you will come down to elevator or to that line right there and simply click it once move that stick it'll automatically make it say elevator or you can scroll to select the right one then we're going to come back to channel 2 which I'm going to use for my steering I'm going to come down to that edit go there and click and if it doesn't already say aileron you'll just while that's blinking just move your aileron stick and it'll select aileron for you now what I'm going to show you here is I've changed it back just so I can show you that you may have an a problem like I did and that is once I got everything working I turned the stick to the left but the vehicle turned right 
So what we're going to do is we're going to reverse that servo. That's very easy. What you're going to do is you come down one more line to where it says weight. Mine defaulted, or they should all be defaulted to 100. You're going to click that, and then you're just going to turn that to negative 100. Let me get. It. It takes just a second to do it. There, negative 100. That will simply reverse the servo. Now, when I turn or push the stick to the left, my wheels will turn left. Now, as far as the radio part goes, that's all the setup you really need to do. Now, we're going to cover the nano setup in the Lewis grip. Okay, now that we've already covered the radio setup, let's go ahead and talk about the receiver setup. Guys, by now you should already have your receiver soldered into your adapter and plugged into your vehicle, at least with your ESC plugged into channel one and your battery plugged into your ESC. So now your receiver will have power. You're gonna to have to have power on your receiver and you will already have to have it bound as well. There's plenty of videos on how to bind the receiver to your module. So we're not gonna cover that in this video. So once you have power, or your ESC plugged into this and your battery plugged into your ESC in your vehicle and this is on and bound we're gonna to go to the radio we're gonna press and hold your menu button page one time you're gonna click crossfire and then you're gonna come down to Lua press and hold hit execute and then you can see we have Nano RX if you do not see that you probably do not have power on your receiver or you are not bound so you're gonna click Nano RX. It's going to populate all the parameters. What we want to do, first of all, we want to set our fail safe mode to cut. If you don't know how to do that, you just click that, scroll until you see cut, and then click it again to select it. And then lastly, guys, and this is where the magic happens, as you can see, output one is set for TX, output two is set for RX. That's because this is normally a S bus receiver and you do not want it to be an S bus receiver we want it to be a PWM receiver so what we're going to do simply is we're going to go to channel map output one and we're going to select channel one when I select that it's going to automatically select or change output two to channel two that is good to go now what's going to happen is channel one will now be a PWM output and channel two will be a PWM output I don't know what happened just my radio but anyway that's how that works. Once you have that set up and saved, you are good to go. I'm going to go ahead and get the vehicle on the bench and we're going to show you how it works. Okay, as you can see, I have the model on the bench. If I did everything correctly, hopefully it will work. We're just going to go over this real quick and show you what I've got here. Guys, this is my original FlySky receiver. It's still mounted in here. I have not cut it out yet, but all I've done is unplugged my two servo leads, one for my ESC and one for the steering servo. I've unplugged it from my FlySky receiver and just plugged it into this adapter board. I have the ESC on channel one. I have the steering servo on channel two. And just make note that you do uh, have the grounds to the inside and it is screen printed on here. And also guys, be sure your antenna is plugged into your receiver before you power it up or you do run a chance of burning the receiver up. Now then, if I did everything correctly, everything should work. So let's go ahead and power it up. I have my in, uh, radio already on. Turn the ESC is powered up. I do have a green light, which means everything's good there. So let's see if I can get all this in one view. Let me get it right here. So let's turn the wheels to the left. That works. To the right, that's good. And we're gonna give it throttle forward. That works. Throttle backwards. And that works everything works let me turn this off so you can hear me so guys i may not have answered every question that you had so if you have any questions leave a comment below if i can't answer it personally i will try to find you a link to a video that can't answer that question so hopefully guys um you got something out of this and if you did consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already but until the next one guys have a great day